it's uh, very easy from handling. And here you have the capture the, the tank for the water. Yeah, it's around about two liters. You can fill in around about two liters. With these two liters, you can work. Or you can clean by normal dirt, 60 between 60 and 80 square meters. So, can you imagine how many water you save? Normally, you need for this uh, for the square meters 30, 40 liters, and here you need two liters without detergent. That's important. Also, by building, we always clean without detergent. So it's more hygienic. You kill germs and bacteria. So here you fill the water in, it goes in the boiler and are heated up to 170 degrees. So, and then you clean and same time you sanitize. We kill and germs from 90.9%. Sometimes you need a little bit more wetness, more moisture. Then we have the hot water extraction. What I showed you by the limatic and the bottle is here a separate tank, also two liters, and you adjust it, you add it directly on the handle. It needs around about five minutes, in your case around about ten minutes, to heat it up for the first time. Later, when you have a break, you're gonna for a coffee or so, yeah. Uh, you can continue your work when you came back for half an hour. It doesn't matter because the boil is very good isolated. Isolated? Isolated? Insulated. Insulated, yeah. So, no problem. Here you see the temperature. The only point what you have to do is sometimes to discard the machine. And here you see the sound. If this sound gets black, it shows you now it's necessary to discard. Here you switch on the machine. Or switch off. Here you start the vacuum or switch off the vacuum. And here you can adjust how many water are inject by the hot water extraction. Low, medium or maximum, high. Normally I always use high because I said, for example, when I clean a seat in a bus or in a train and I want to have a deep cleaning, then I decided to use hot water extraction in that moment, I want, I want to have the full power. So, low is for me not an option. That's the steam part. Where we are, the only one in the world is with our water filtration. In combination with UVC. So, here's the same principle. That means, all the dirt goes in the water filter combined with water and remains in the capture tank. The air which goes outside is clean. I told you, if you clean the tables, the surfaces, the walls, the seats, uh, with steam, you kill germs and bacteria. But for example, in an office, in a train, in a retirement home, in a shower, you have also germs and bacteria in the air. How do you clean it? The air. From every uh, air conditioning is a critical point if somebody is of sick. Here, during your work, the completely air are be vacuumed, goes in the water filtration, and between the blue lights we have a UVC lamp. And the UVC lamp radiates the water and kills germs and bacteria. So the, the air which goes outside is purified. We made a test in a well-known lab in Hamburg by Dr. Brill and let test the UVC. And I never, Irene, I never will forget. I came and Dr. Brill said, Mr. Wiedemann, I think uh, with my experience, I have to say, it's really, it's not, it's not a joke what I tell you now. He said, I think it's more a marketing point, more than a real existing point because of the UVC lamp how it kills germs and bacteria. One, one month ago, I get the first result. They tested with Staphylococcus aureus. It's a germ, especially in hospitals everywhere. We get, and now please, listen, we get, we get 
overlock five. It means disinfection. They, they, they was unbelievable. He wrote me an email, Mr. Wiedemann, it's unbelievable. After five minutes, radiation, the water, we have disinfection. Lock five. You get all the tests, you get the white papers from me. Uh, we have a second test with Staphylococcus ebeus and with different. And if we f uh, finish it, I think next month, you get all the white papers from me. So, sometimes there can come a critical question. Okay, your UVC is good, but UVC doesn't work when the water is dirty. That's right, I agree. But when we clean in a retirement home, when we clean in a hospital, and after two or three square meters, that water is dirty, then we have another problem. You agree? Then we have another problem. Yeah. Then you can say, okay, you can complain that the UVC doesn't work, but I complain you clean less in the hospital. Okay? Also, if you get, uh, if you will meet an engineer, the engineer, sometimes they are special kind of species, they are very critical. And they came and said, okay, you say UVC, UVC are not able to go through plastic. It's right. We don't have plastic here. Oh, that's plastic. But no. Look. Uh, it's wrong. In, uh, here, sorry. That's glass. Quartz glass. Okay? Okay. And here also, that's plastic, but that's quartz glass. And so the UVC lamp radiates through. It switch off in the moment when I remove the capture tank, it has to switch off because it could hurt your, your eyes. Yeah. When I switch in, switch on, okay? So, finish. Here you have all your accessories. It's very easy when you work. You see, ah, okay, I will show you later. I will clean this or that. Very easy to clean. Okay? Good. Now it's your job. Now we start. So, come on, lady. I came back. 